So we'll do the same format. It'll be uh, three minutes um, and then uh, time for questions. Uh, we'll start with Mr. Chaitkin. Anton Chaitkin, I'm a historian and the history editor for Executive Intelligence Review. President Obama has put in place a reform apparatus reviving the euthanasia of Hitler Germany in 1939 that began the genocide there. The apparatus here is to deny medical care to elderly, chronically ill and poor people and thus save, as the President says, two to three trillion dollars by taking lives considered not worthy to be lived, as the Nazi doctors said. Dr. Ezekiel Emanuel and other avowed cost cutters on this panel also lead a propaganda movement for euthanasia headquartered at the Hastings Center, of which Dr. Emanuel is a fellow. They shape public opinion and the medical profession to accept a death culture such as the Washington state law passed in November to let physicians help kill patients whose medical care is now rapidly being withdrawn in the universal health disaster. Dr. Emanuel's movement for bioethics and euthanasia and this council's purpose directly continue the eugenics movement that organized Hitler's killing of patients and then other costly and supposedly unworthy people. Dr. Emanuel wrote last October 12th that a crisis, war and financial collapse would get the frightened public to accept the program. Hitler told Dr. Brandt his, in 1935 that the euthanasia program would have to wait until the war began to get the public to go along. Dr. Emanuel wrote last year that the Hippocratic Oath should be junked. Doctors should no longer just serve the needs of the patient. Uh, Hoche and Binding, the German eugenicists, exactly said the same thing to start the killing. You on the council are drawing up the procedures the, uh, to, uh, list to be used to deny care, which will kill millions if it goes ahead in the present world crash. You think, perhaps, the backing of powerful men, financiers, will shield you from accountability, but you are now in the spotlight. Disband this council and reverse the whole course of this Nazi revival now. Thank you. A quick break. I'm going to ask uh, for questions and comments. Ms. Zuckerman, if you can come up, and I'm opening it up to the panel. Can you feel? Yes, we're still going to, Ms. Williams, you're still going to get to talk. I'm going to ask Ms. Zuckerman to come up and join you. We're going to take a quick stop in the panel to uh, open it up for comments or questions because yeah. we have a few folks who have to uh, potentially go. The whole transcript will be available, though, and all comments will be shared with all uh, uh, council members. Uh, I apologize that I have to go uh, back to uh, an important meeting. I do want to just clarify one thing about my own, uh, since my reputation has been besmirched here, is uh, I think I do have a very long record of writing against the legalization of euthanasia. So the association of me and that seemed a little strange uh, given, I don't know, at least 30 years or 25 years of writing on the topic against the legalization. So just to clarify the record uh, for everyone in the room. Thank you. Can we, can you we, you no. that you're opposed to assisted suicide, but that you are in favor of the withdrawal of, of medical care, which accomplishes the same thing. So you had this article with Margaret Batten, who is a, a, an accomplished... So, sir, sir, it's a... So it's not a... You, your statement was read into the record. It's not the time for debate, but we appreciate your comments. Um, uh, and we apologize for the break in the panel, but we just wanted to... Uh, um, have that break.